Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Windows 10 bootable recovery partition in case your computer becomes extremely slow or unbootable due to a virus. This type of partition will allow you to recover to a fresh installation of Windows 10 without the need of an installation disk or USB. To get started, we first need the Windows 10 ISO. The link is in the description box below. Once here, Scroll down and click on Download Tool Now to download the Media Creation Tool. Once downloaded, go ahead and run it. If prompted, uh, UAC, click on Yes. Accept the license terms. I'm going to walk you throughout the download uh, portion. Select Create Installation Media for another PC, even though we're going to use it on this PC. Here, it'll auto detect the language, the edition, and architecture of your current Windows 10 PC. If you're not sure those are the current settings, right click Start, Control Panel, System, and here notice that in my case I'm using Windows 10 Pro 64 bit architecture, so it got it right. In case the wizard gets it wrong, you can remove the check mark, use the recommended options for this PC, and click on the drop down to select the proper one. In this case, since it got it right, I'll leave it checked and continue. Here, check mark ISO file, and I'll be saving this to my desktop. I'll rename this to Windows 10 so I can identify it. Once done, click on Save to start downloading the Windows 10 ISO. This process can take a while depending on your system and internet speed. Once done, click on Finish and confirm the download of the ISO. should be on the desktop. Perfect. There it is. Now, we also need to download the ECPCD program. The link is also in the description box below. Once here, Scroll all the way down to download and install the free version of ECBCD. Click on register, enter name and email to be able to download the program. Now once ECBCD is installed, right click the start button and select disk management. Here locate C drive, select it, right click and click on shrink volume. We're going to create a 6 gigabyte partition. So I need to enter 6,000 megs, which is about 6 gigabyte, and click on shrink to create that recovery partition. Once the partition has been created, we need to format. So right click it, new simple volume, next to the wizard. I'm going to use the full volume, so I'll leave it default. And here you can assign a different drive letter if you want. I'll select drive letter R for recovery. And change the volume label to recovery. Next, and finish the wizard. Now our partition has been formatted. Now right click it and click open. You can close disk management now and double click the Windows 10 ISO. What we're going to do here is copy all the files inside that ISO to that recovery partition. So select them all, copy and paste. This can take a little while. Once done, close all the windows here. And now run ECBCD. Yes to the UAC if prompted. And here click on Add New Entry. Under Portable External Media, select WinPE. To the right of path, click on the three dots and locate 
the new recovery partition selected go into sources folder locate boot.wim you can select it and click on open or double click to select and it should look something like this r sources boot.wim r being the recovery partition and click on add entry you should see something like nst winp image added to the boot menu successfully once done go to edit boot menu and here select the nst winpe image and rename this i'll rename this to windows 10 recovery click away to save and now here under menu options locate countdown from and it's 30 seconds this will delay the boot for 30 seconds i would i usually recommend this from three to eight seconds but i'm going to select 15 seconds so you would know what i'm talking about and save settings. Once saved, the entire ECPCD process was to add an entry to the boot menu to allow us to access the recovery partition. So I'll close here. Now I'll restart Windows 10 pretending that it's unbootable or extremely slow. You'll see this new entry. I'm not going to move my mouse so you can see the uh, count from that we selected 15 seconds. You can see the 15 seconds here. That's why it, it slows down your boot process because you got to wait or you have to manually by moving the mouse select Windows 10 to boot to your Windows 10. That's why I usually select 3 to 8 seconds. Let's pretend your Windows 10 became unbootable due to a virus or is extremely slow and you need to recover. So let's click on Windows 10 Recovery. Here, select the language, time, and keyboard. And click on Next. This is exactly the same as if you were installing Windows 10 brand new. Install now. Enter the key. If you don't have one immediately on hand, you can click on I don't have a product key to continue the installation. Select Windows 10 or Home and click Next. Accept the license terms. Continue and here select custom install. This is where it gets tricky. This one here is a system recovery partition, the one we just booted from. This one is a Windows 10 system reserve and the Windows 10 partition. We have few options here. We can select the Windows 10 partition and click on next to reinstall on top of the already created partition. Or we can select them and delete them both and install uh, Windows 10. Both methods are a clean install of Windows 10. So I'll select the second option. I'll select the Windows 10 partition, delete, OK, and the Windows 10 system reserved, delete. Confirm, perfect. Now my drive is unallocated and click on next to install Windows 10. This process can take a while. But once done, you'll be able to recover your Windows 10 without the need of an installation disk or a USB. Now here, I'll just go throughout the basic settings. You can customize the settings if you want, or just use Express settings. Select I own it. And here you can enter a live email account from Microsoft or you can create a local account by clicking on skip this step. In this case, I'll just enter a username, no password and continue. Now, once fully recovered, remember that this is a clean installation of Windows 10. Done. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. Hey, click on the thumbnail on the screen if you want to watch me create a system image backup of Windows 10 and recover from it without losing any files. If you want to keep watching more video tutorials like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.